Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be opening bags number 13 of the Lego Daily Bugle set, which is Lego, seven, this is Lego set 76178. This is the box. Uh, this is just in case it's the first one of these videos you've seen. I've done the previous bags on other videos. As you can see, it's quite a big box. And this is the back to the front of the box. This is the back of the box. That shows you all the, all the levels. It's a, it's a very modular build. You've got all the you've got 25 characters with this set as well. So you can see them all on here. That's the box. If you wish to know more about that, it's on previous videos. We'll open up bag number 13 now, which is J, which is J, J, J Jonah Jameson's office, along with um, Betty Brant, his secretary. secretary. We'll pull. Before we go any further, I'll show you the build so far. Try carefully. This is the build so far. It's quite a big build, as you can see. Got the Green Goblin coming out of there. This is Peter Parker's office. I'm not going to pull the front bits off at the moment because I don't really want them to all fall apart on me. Because it's quite a delicate, it's a delicate build. So, as you can see, you've got Black Cat, um, Spider Gwen, and Mysterio on the side of the building, Mr. Castle and Daredevil on the front of the building, Sat Sandman, you've got Carnage, Terrorising, Gwen Stacy and, and Aunt May in the reception. So, and you have Rob Robertson, Ron Barley, and Ben Erwich in, uh, in the office here, but I'll, I will leave that for the time being because I want to go on with the build. So we've got two bags for, for instruction number 13. This will be my first J, J. John Jameson figure, or well, the first official one I've ever owned, so quite excited about this, about this part of the build. It doesn't come with a cigar as it happens, but and we've got some window pieces to go in here as well. So there'll be quite a lot of the, um, the window and side building on this, on this particular instruction, uh, on this bag of instructions. So put the stickers over, put the sticker sheets over here, so they're out of the way. This is, let's take them, take Gwen and Black Cat off. Put them on the balcony on behind Peter's office, just for the time being. So that's the. This will be the third. The third floor. We'll put that over here. So we've got Betty Brown and so we'll build Betty first. Try and pull all the um, character pieces out first. Betty Brown has got a hoodie. Which is quite modern. So she's got some white trousers, a pink, a pink hooded top. Get the right head on. With, we'll say she can have a, we'll have a smile on. And she has a nice little hairpiece that I know my daughter would love. So there's Jane. J. John Jameson's secretary and one of Peter's former girlfriends as well, so we put her down here. Now we build the man himself. This is your, uh, basically they give, him a, they give him a nice suit and he comes with two faces which is quite cool. He comes with a face of spider webbing Try and keep, show you that up close. And a normal, slightly irked face. We'll give him the slightly irked face, I think. And somewhere in here, they've given him a Lego pen. Like an editing pen, which is actually quite, it's quite a cool accessory. They couldn't give him a cigar because I think that would be a bit um, un pc so. Uh, there's a nice J. Um, J. 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 Jameson figure. I do quite like that. I never got the original Daily Bugle set because it was a, at the time it was a bit out of my price range. So I 
Well, yeah, yeah, mind you, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, it wasn't an art, it was a good set, but but like it, it was based on the um, Spider Man and the Web what and the Web Warriors, which was the um, the, uh, it was like like Spider Man had his own had his own team, but enough about that. I will get on with the build. So we start off with one of these pieces. We're going to make a desk. Then we have a. Lego one piece with a thing on the side, like so. And you put two of these, uh, you've got a two by two flat studded and a and a right angle piece, a piece with a right angle piece on there. And then you've got a small one, small flat studded one square piece goes on there. And then you've got a couple more of those. Those And a white um, um, one flat study hook piece goes on like so. Then you have two of the flat pieces. You have a two by one flat and a one by one flat, which which is here. put this bit on its side like that and you have a little keyboard which is quite a nice touch so put it the right way around with a space bar at the bottom and you've got a little bit on there that goes on like that that creates the curve of the desk and then we have you should have a blue clear um, screen piece like that and the sticker goes on there which is sticker number 28 which is this one here and 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 it is quite funny because I'll show you this in a minute it says Miss Cools E E Brock which which is which is Eddie Brock who aka Venom Put the sticker on slightly out of the way. I'll try and. I think that's quite a nice little touch. I'll try and show you that. See how close we can get. Work out where the camera is. There we go. You should be able to see that. Now that is a nice little touch, I think. So. And that's this desk here. goes on the, on the square piece there, so it's right in front of the lift as they come up. And then, there's a black chair for Betty. There is a song in there somewhere, but I won't sing it. And for any younger kids, um, your parents, parents should know the song. I'm, the song I mean. So I'm going to stick her in there now on her desk now. So there we go. We've got Betty at her desk now, like that. Quite hard to, sh to really see because there's a wall in the way but 
I'll, sh I'll show you this a bit more in a minute. Um, next we've got to do JJ's chair, or, or Triple J, or JJ and Jameson, whichever. Put some little um, stud pieces on the bottom of the chair. So that way the chair can actually move. I don't know why they didn't do that with the other chairs in the in the um, in the other office because I think that I think, I think that would have made them a, a little slightly better. But I think it must be a, an executive office thing. So, and we've got to put two of these and a a Lego one piece like so. And that goes on there, as you can see. Next, we make J um, JJ's um, cabinet. So we start off with one of these little um, draw units. So we stick the drawers in there. He has a couple of award things which are made up like this. So it's like your little Lego, it's, it's like the um, really tiny little Lego man things they do. Which I, which I do like those, they're quite cool little Lego bricks, I do, or Lego, they're quite cool Lego things, so I do quite enjoy those. You have another award thing, which is like a, like a bit of rock, it's been used in the um, um, space sets as well, so quite a nice um, reuse, quite a nice reuse. And a white coffee cup as well. So there's his little um, cabinet with his coffee, with his cup and his awards on it. So there's JJ's office so far. Now we've got to make his desk. So we start off with what looks like a red um, six by six by two, flat studded. Then we have two um, three by ones in in, in the ready brown. Two of the um, Lego head headlamp pieces. And a Lego one piece. Then you've got a, another six, uh, six by two on top with three of these pieces on. And a draw, like so. Next we put the stuff on his desk. He has a a little uh, hook piece that goes on here. Try and get the right way around. Another keyboard. And a, and one of these pieces goes on here. We've got to make another screen in a minute. I hope it goes on the corner. It's like to be one of those little funny builds, so Got to find the little blue screen in here next. There we go, and we put 
sticker number 29 on here and it does say PP or P Parker at Webb, you're fired. I think that's just one of them. Um, I think that's one of the um, constant J, J Jonah Jameson things to say. So I'll try and show you that. See if folks can get on that. Yeah, it's quite a nice little touch that. So next we have a, a stack of papers on here. So we've got to make that next. So we have a white two by two flat studded with a dot in the middle, a, another one. And then we have to go to the extras bag and it's a, another day, another newspaper. And it, and it says it is a daily bugle reward for photos of Spider-Man. Try and show you that. Quite a nice little touch. Yeah, we only lost that. And we put his desk in here. There we go, that's his, that's, that's his office so far. We'll put, him in, we'll put him in his office as well, so he just hopefully stays in one place. There we go, we've got, we've got JJ in his office now, so. Next we've got to build some doors and windows. So we start off with uh, two of the um, brown one by fours, which are these ones here. A window. goes on there like that and then there's another these brown one by one by fours like that that's the that's his first one and then he then he has a door for his office I wish I wish I had, wish I had all these pieces when I was building Lego back in the day so So there's his office door. I think that's right. That's the office layout so far. some bricks across the top now so we start off with a Lego one brick then we got a Lego one brick with a stud on the side and a hook which goes in there like so Then you've got a Lego six by one, which goes on top, which hopefully holds it all together. Like so. And we've got a, we've got a TV screen that goes on the, on the back there. So starts off life as one of these pieces here. It's a, Four by it's a it's a four by four. Um, it's 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 mainly flat, but it's it's got four studs along the top, like that. And put sticker number seven on there, which is J. Jonah Jameson. 
um, discussing the um, It's actually it's actually quite um, very similar to the um, to, to, to to the actual big the, the, the big screen have on the front. I'll show you that anyway. It's pretty much a smaller version of it. So then you have a a silver three bit a silver three by one flat and a red. Um, a, a red um, see-through brick, what a one piece. So turn that the other way round. Then you've got a two by two in grey. Which goes on the back here, and you have a a two by one with a connector piece on the end, which I'm trying to find. on the back there and that hooks on the side there not quite sure the reasoning for that but I'm quite sure there is a good reason for it so but still quite a nice part of the build then there's two windows to go in like so and then these windows go on the top here so that gives JJ his own private office and I bet his chair seems to have fallen off but Next part instruction, we put the um, supporting beam across there, which is a Lego brown one, one piece, a brown six by one, and a gray three by one angled, as you can see. So these bits go on there like that. This is a very delicate build in places, but I don't think it's really been de developed as a, I don't think much, much as it has quite as the, has the play potential it's supposed to have though, I don't think, but. seem to have forgotten some pieces. Yeah, it works better. Miss something there, there is some little um, little stub pieces on Jameson's desk. I did miss them, so I do apologise. So now we've got to do some supporting beams, which is 24 of these. Seeing as we have, we've got to do three, which should be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not that my maths is bad, I just try to make sure that you always count them according to the Lego to the Lego book, because that way you know you'd be 100% right. 
the same way if, 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 if the calculation is important um, and you've got any doubt or you always use it, always run it through run it through on a calculator or a spreadsheet so there are some people who don't need to but I do so I'm going to make these up I've got to make another two of these I can attach these to the build. Like so. One, one more of these. And then, then, and then there's the corner one to make. That's the next one. This one goes on this corner here. And then there's the alternate one. So that goes that way, that way, that way. one more of these. There we go. There we go, we've got that corner one like that. This one goes on here. This is where the, um, the actual steel supports are going to go. Try and show you this quickly. Now we've got to start making the windows, so we've got to use 50 of these. And 20 of these. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I make five of these up, I've got to make 10 of these up to actually get around the, um, the whole side of the building. So. So that's what we're making. Got to make another nine of those. So I'm going to start putting these on as I go. Two, three, four, five. You're more than welcome to actually fast forward through this bit because it's going to be pretty much the same thing. But if, if you're happy just to hear me talk and just watch, Thank you very much. All, all, all my supporters are very much appreciated on, on Instagram and YouTube. I haven't gone to TikTok yet, I'm thinking about it, but I've got some one or two issues with TikTok at the moment, so I'm possibly gonna I'm gonna um, think about it. Um, if, if anyone has any views or opinions on that, um, do feel free to um, put the comments in comments in what in um, at the end of the video and I'll try to give you a mention on, on, on my upcoming videos. Better keep these going. This bits are quite um, are far from exciting, but they but they are they are necessary to make the build look good. There's a lot of windows in this set, as if you've seen any of the previous videos for this um, for this build, you you will know. I'll put it, but as much as this bit is is is, is isn't that exciting, it. Um, it, it, um, the, the quality of the build is good, and and, and, and you also once you get all the bricks around the top, it, and and it, and it makes it um, that that bit more secure. It does it does look quite good. 
Whether I buy another one of these again, I don't really know. So, because I have got a um, James Bond Aston Martin DB5 to build, which I'd like to build on video, but that's another big project I'm going to start. I might start that one in the new year now because I've got advent calendars coming up and I do quite, I do quite enjoy opening those, opening those daily. Um, anyone who's been, anyone who's been following me for a few years will, will, will have seen me um, do that. So I'm usually going for this, usually going for the Star Wars or the, or the Marvel one. I'm not too sure which one to go for this year because the Mandalorian one does. There is a lot of like very similar parts in it that come from other sets, but. If anyone has any feedback on that, do feel free to let me know. Because hopefully I'm, I'm actually working away getting both at the moment, but that's not, that might happen, it might not. So if I get both, it's going to be happy days, happy days for everybody. So nearly, I'm getting there with this. I'm now down to three more of these to, to build and put on here now. So. Thank you for bearing with me. I think after this, it's just putting some um, bits around the top, which is not going to take too long, really. So anyone sticking with me, thank you very much. spare parts as well which is quite nice I've got one of those spare one of those pens they could be quite handy I've often thought about keeping a Lego spare parts box but I mean back in the day back in the day I would have stuck it into my um, ice cream tubs I used to keep my Lego in and I used to build I managed to, I managed to do some quite nice builds if I had had YouTube when I was building I think I think, I think, I think, I think, a, I think a, um, a lot of builds would have been um, appreciated. So, so this is what we got. I'll be very careful how I do this. Because I don't want to see this all come apart. All the windows are now around the side now, and this is a pretty um, coming. It's going to be coming a quite a solid structure. So what we're going to do? We're going to start off by. Um, you got two of these and two and one of these and the one piece goes here that piece is in there this is going to be fun Then we have a, what looks like it might be some kind of ventilation system. Got that piece to go on here. That piece goes on there. And then we have a eight by an eight by one I mean grey, which is this one here. That goes on here. Can I open it with a bit more support on there? That's what we got on there so far. Not as secure as I'd like it yet, but I'm quite sure that's coming. So we got a couple of um, 10 by ones going across the top on the front. Have a there we go, Tish. Have a six by one going on JJ's side. A eight by one going on the other side. And we have a little 
one piece that goes on the corner here, a eight by two, this should hopefully make this more secure and hopefully not fall apart whilst I'm doing it as well. It feels okay-ish. Three by two goes on this corner here. It's not quite as solid as it could be yet. I'm sure that bit's on there securely. We've got a few little bits, a few spare bits, which I do like. And here we have the uh, Betty Braun and J. J. Joan Jameson's office, all um, the basic structure done with all the windows and you haven't got the, um, the, the supporting girders on yet. That, that's coming on, on the next instruction. So, and I'll be doing that on my next video. So this is what we got so far. This goes on the top. See, they do make these builds a bit more complicated than they need to do them sometimes, I think. I'm gonna put this on the top here and hopefully These pieces never quite connect. I'm going to try and move this carefully over without actually doing too much damage. This is the build so far. As you can see, you've got the reception, you've got the editorial offices. Peter's got his office upstairs. We have Spider Gwen and Black Cat ready to get. Um, Ready to, ready to cause a bit of bother. You can never get these quite to connect on the, when you first build them. They need a bit of tweaking. But that's just a minor thing, so. As you can see, you've got Spider Gwen up there. You've just got to do the, um, you've got um, the roof and the roof and the front and the sides now. So that's another three bags to go on this build so far, left to go. So this is it, the build so far. It does look quite impressive, it has to be said. I'll put this over here in a minute. Bernie the cab driver's still around for anyone who's been watching it from, 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 from the start. So move this over carefully there. Try not to move anything else at the same time. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and tell tell your friends or or any or any or any any other way of share of, of sharing. Um, if you have any comments or feedback, um, do feel free to leave them at the end of the video, and I'll try to give you a mention on one on one of my upcoming videos. I'm a bit behind on that at the moment. I do apologise if you have left a comment, but thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. And, 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 and I will be doing a list and, and giving people mentions when, when pro probably when this project's done, because it's, it's taking quite a lot of my time up at the moment, along with other things as well. So uh, again, again um, thank you for watching. Um, stay safe and make mine marvel. Hope to see you in one of my upcoming videos.